I'm not taking the vaccine for one reason — lack of long-term testing. That's nothing to do with me being an anti-vaxxer. Actually, I'm the opposite of an anti-vaxxer. I'm up to date with all my scheduled vaccines, as are my children. However, all these vaccines have been thoroughly tested. Whenever I've had to go overseas and the country says that I need a particular vaccine, I look into its potential side effects, make sure that it's been proven to be safe and effective, then I get the vaccine. It's a pretty simple process. However, the most mature of these COVID vaccines is less than 12 months old. I think we can all agree that there hasn't been time for adequate long-term testing. If you choose to get this vaccine, you're doing so with either incredible faith in what the politicians and medical community are telling you, or you're taking an incredible gamble. One example that comes to mind is the thalidomide tragedy. Although not a vaccine, thalidomide was a medication developed to treat anxiety, sleep disorders, tension, and morning sickness. However, it was later found to cause terrible birth defects in children whose mothers took the medication during pregnancy. The drug was first released by the German pharmaceutical company Chemie Grunenthal in 1957. How long do you think it took before the link between birth defects and thalidomide was discovered? Six months? One year? It took over four years. It wasn't until 1961 that thalidomide was removed from the market. The damage was already done, however. More than 10,000 children were born with a range of severe deformities. Approximately 40% died at or shortly after the time of birth. All I'm trying to say is that long-term testing is important. I'm not talking months. I'm talking years. If you want to rush out and get vaccinated for COVID, feel free. It's your choice. However, you can't possibly tell me that scientists are aware of its potential long-term side effects. It's impossible for them to know, as it hasn't been available for long enough. I'm not getting the vaccine because I'm against vaccinations. I'm not getting the vaccine because I'd like to make an informed choice, and an informed choice requires me to wait. Furthermore, in the last 24 hours, there's already news stories stating that recent virus mutations may be able to evade the vaccine. If that is true, if you rush out and get vaccinated as soon as possible, but then scientists later find out that the vaccine is ineffective, and then a couple of years later the vaccine that you took is found to cause long-term health problems, what a terrible situation that would be. Look, I'm not saying don't get the vaccine, but just be aware that you are taking a gamble in doing so.